Mm -hmm. Great city. It is. All right. Jane, welcome back to Dallas because you were here making the movie. Mm -hmm. Actually, when did you film it? Uh, we filmed it about a, over a year and a half ago, starting in October. And we filmed uh, through till the middle of January. And where all were you? Well, I mean, I don't know the area that well, but I know that we filmed in Plano and Mesquite. Uh, I think we filmed, the, the high school was in Mesquite and our home was in Plano. And then we went to some malls on location sometimes, uh, Neiman Marcus, and, and those are the areas that, that I can really remember, yeah. <clears throat> so the high school then was in Mesquite? Yes. And it was their marching band, was it? Or no. No. Actually, there weren't very many people, in, there weren't very many uh, students at, at the high school in Mesquite because it's like a new area that's being built, so they have this, I mean, gorgeous, brand new high school, but there's only a few hundred students there and they're sort of waiting for the community to grow, which it apparently rapidly is, but I mean, they were, there were hardly any students there, and I mean, the band was pretty, pretty huge and, and quite good, and I think, you know, they hired them. And the cheerleaders were a, a drill team from a university, so. Now, is it at the Mesquite High School, is that where you had the horribly cold weather? No, this was, um, we only filmed for a couple of days, and this was a, a very large football field. I'm not exactly sure where it was, but um, yeah, it was below freezing when we were filming, and we were filming nights, and it was cheerleading, so we were cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely cold. <laughs> and how long did that go on? Um, three days, three evenings, because it was, you know, it was, had to be dark so yeah we had this thing going on where um, all the actors and the the drill team girls were were trying to keep their morale up and we were gonna win the spirit stick and whoever won the spirit stick I don't really know what but you got the spirit stick and that was really good and apparently that's something that they do in cheerleading camp so we were just trying to play a game and you know joke around and see who could be the most positive throughout the evenings Meanwhile, you're freezing. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, I don't normally exercise very much, so my muscles are like tight and frozen because like it was bizarre. My muscles like froze and I was limping around for days afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that um, I must compliment you about, a, a very nice performance, hmm. but I was very impressed with your Texas accent. Now, where are you from? I'm from Vancouver. So. Oh, come on, a Canadian with a <laughs> Texas Canadian. accent. It's true, it's true. I mean, I had a lot of help from a dialect coach. For my audition, I just sort of winged it, and it wasn't very good. It was very sort of drawly, twangy, apparently more um, of like North Carolina sort of style. And then with my dialect coach, I got it be more a back of the throat as he sort of called it and uh, yeah it was I mean I love I love talking like that I think it's it's so much fun and the, the up and the down and the, the melody of the it's great <laughs> what do you think that you had done before this that helped you get this role well I mean it was a comedy and I sort of feel like sometimes I I, I get comedies and uh, yeah, I mean, it feel, I felt a little bit natural for me and I read it and I thought that I understood the jokes and how, you know, the writer wanted them to be said and so I just went for it and it all worked out, so yeah. The, um, the title, Slap Her, She's French, do you think that's a good title for this? Well, I think it's very appropriate for the movie. I mean, I hope no one takes it too seriously when they first read it because it could be offensive. But it's um, it's because the movie is wacky and goofy and you know a comedy. It, it's perfect. The title is you know 
funny and wacky and goofy and that's you know it, and outrageous you know the movie is quite you know outrageous so it's a perfect title I just you know hope that people see from the poster that it's you know it's a joke it's fun <laughs> and that no French people no were harmed. French people were harmed <laughs> during the making of this no film. French people were in the movie so <laughs> The girl you're playing, Jane, could be, um, people could sit there and think, ooh, I don't like her. <laughs> and yet, the audience has to be sympathetic with you. They have to understand you. Yes. Was that the most difficult thing for you in getting this together? Yes, it was. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, Starla is very self-involved, but she also is very naive and um, she is just a product of her environment and you know she's been brought up to always get what she wants and all her you know parents have ever t you know enforced was how important she was and how perfect she was and so she's just sort of playing the part and and she has this goal that she is really set on becoming an anchor woman and she is just so obsessed with it and really is determined to achieve this and will go through no matter what to get it. And I think that's an admirable quality. I mean, she's, she's just going after her dreams and she is naive and she doesn't understand, you know, how she can be nasty sometimes just because she's got this tunnel vision. And I think that, you know, you do see her sort of quirky sides and how de her fierce determination can show, can turn out to be a little bit wa wacky and wild sometimes. And you do see that you know, her, her um, vulnerability when that all gets taken away from her and she, you know, I think she learns a valuable lesson. Yes, she does. <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> yes, but I think she needed that. When you were in, <clears throat> when you were in high school, what were you like? Um, I guess pretty average. I mean, I don't know. Were you a I, cheerleader? No, we didn't. We didn't have cheerleaders at my high school. We didn't have a football team. Um, we had rugby and we had a dance team, but I didn't do that. I wasn't that involved in my high school. I was sort of just, I guess, doing my own thing. And I would often work, and so I would leave for you know a couple of months. Acting, you were acting. acting. Yes, and so yeah. I mean, I was just sort of you know ready to get out when I did and do my own thing. I mean. I found that high school wasn't very accommodating to to my work and I ended up failing drama in grade <laughs> 11 because I went away to work. That's something I'm very bitter about because I was acting and missed some drama classes so I failed. It just didn't make sense to me. It was very frustrating. So when did you start acting? Was it in high school or elementary school? I started acting professionally when I was um, about eight years old, I uh, was watching TV. I was always a huge show-off kid, you know, mostly for my family and my friends, people I was close to. And I was watching TV, and I was like, made the realization: those are people on TV. I'm a person. I could be on TV. And I like ran to my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I gotta be on TV. And she was wary because I mean, it can be a hard industry for kids, but she supported me, and I did it. And and I just, you know, kind of made my way slowly through it, and yeah. So you feel like then that this is really the biggest break so far of your career? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, this is this will definitely be the most, uh, like, the widest coverage, more most places, you know, my face has ever been. I guess on the largest screen, my face has ever been on. For sure, which will be interesting, and yeah, I mean, I've I've worked uh, pretty steady. There, there's a lot of work in Vancouver. A lot of stuff is filmed down there, especially for a while, TV movies, and I was, you know, did a lot of that, and I did a TV series in Montreal, and and then I did Slap Her, She's French. Do people recognize you from the MTV series? I've been recognized, I think, twice. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? It was very say? funny both times. <laughs> Like, yes, that was me. <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how popular. Yeah. It was a good show. <laughs> <laughs>
That's cute. Uh, are you at all worried, or was there concern during the making of the film, about how Texans would react to this picture? Um, no. I mean, the whole movie is, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying here, but I mean, the whole movie is over the top cliche of every sort, stereotype of every sort, that's just the flavor of the movie, you know what I mean? It's not specifically, it just, you know, takes place in Texas, and so, you know, that's, that's just the style of the movie. Have you talked to any young people who have seen the film, young Texas people? Yeah, well, I mean, it went to the, U the a film festival here, and Melanie said that it got the best reaction it's gotten anywhere and people were cracking up, so that's great, it's wonderful. So Texans uh, just need to lighten up when they see this. Well, I mean, this movie is not to be taken seriously. This movie is your classic, you know, there's no cliche, whatever, untouched in this movie, <laughs> so, so yeah. Well, I found it highly amusing. Oh, great. I, and I, I was not offended, but then I'm not a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you, as a result of Sly Hershey's French, do you have any other roles that you're working on? Well, not as a result of Sly Hershey's French. Um, I have the movie I did after that, which is coming out in the Toronto Film Festival in uh, September, so just in a couple of weeks. And Slapper She's French comes out on the 30th, so they'll be sort of coming out a week apart. Polar opposites. This is a small Canadian independent film, and it's, you know, subtle, very, very subtle. <laughs> and uh, I play a, a teenage girl in a very small town who's, since she was six, she's been the mother of her little brother because her mom died when she gave birth to him and the father is too overcome with grief to really deal with it. And uh, so the girl is 16 now and she can't be a mom to her little brother anymore. She wants her own life. So she goes out and gets pregnant. And it's sort of about this family and their sadness and how they don't communicate and them finding their peace and there's hope at the end. And it's really a beautiful film and it's got these lovely personal moments in it and I'm really proud of it. And I'm glad that I did something so, you know, different afterwards so that, you know, I, I don't want to get stereotyped as doing one particular type of thing. Although I love doing comedy, but I'm glad that, I, you know, I've got something so different that's coming out. That what is the name of it again? It's called Flower and Garnet. And I play Flower and my little brother's Garnet. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Jane, thank you so much for coming yeah, to Dallas. my pleasure. Coming back. Yeah. And uh, I just wish you the best of everything with oh. Cypress She's French and with your your Canadian film as well. Thank you. I look forward to seeing that. Thanks. <laughs> Just stay where you are. Well, and, and I'm on two shot now. Oh, okay. All right. Your Texas accent is very, very good. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Vancouver. Oh, come on. <laughs> A Canadian Texan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I did my audition, I... Um, I just sort of winged it, and it wasn't accurate at all. Um, I was told it was more Georgia um, sort of thing, and uh, so when I came here, I had a dialect coach, and he helped me a lot, and uh, I had a, a, about a week and a half to hang out and test it out and whatnot. Was there any particular Texas word or sound that was difficult for you? Well, sometimes I sort of played around a little bit with saying, getting and getting <laughs> and I always wanted to say the ing and my dialect coach was like no getting do that and or getting getting <laughs> Get. <laughs> okay mm. you ready let me see if your oh. audio is good okay yeah, audio uh, this is Bobby's microphone you're ABC two. okay you're rolling all right what were you like in high school? Um, I was, uh, I guess, pretty average. Um, I, uh, I mean, we didn't have cheerleaders or football teams in high school. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Um, your Texas accent is very good. Was it difficult? Were any sounds 
Are words difficult for you? Um, okay. Your Texas accent is very good. Where are you from? I'm from Vancouver, actually. A Canadian Texan. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it was a bit of a stretch. Um, <laughs> okay, that's good. Were any words or any sounds difficult for you to get the Texas sound? Um, yeah, I mean, often the dialect coach wanted me to do more of a, a getting. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Um, trying to think. Okay. So you started acting then when? High school? Elementary school? Um, I started acting uh, when I was about seven years old. So I was very young. Okay. What was it that gave you the urge to become an actor at such a young age? Uh, well, I was uh, actually, I was a big show-off kid when I was little and I was watching TV. And I made the... That's good. <laughs> All right. um, uh, yeah. Um, all right. When you were making the movie, or now that it's coming out, do you have any concerns about how Texans are going to react to this? Um, no. Well, I mean, I understand, I guess, what you're saying, but... Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Slap her, she's French. <laughs> Do you think that's an appropriate title? Yes, I think it's perfect for the movie. Okay. I didn't ask you this, but have you ever been to France? No. Yeah, okay. All right, I think that'll do it. Uh, different roles, the new Oh yeah, I, I, I will ask about the new one, uh, mm -hmm. yes. As a result of Slap her, she's French, do you have any other roles that, let me rephrase, do you have any other roles that have come about as a result of Slap Her, She's French? Um, well, not as a result of Slap Her, She's French, I don't think, but I do have another movie coming out. Okay, that's good. All right, that'll take it.